Hi Pisces, welcome back to the channel. Monica Louv here at The Love Messages. So today we're gonna to be doing your reading from the 2nd to the 8th of January. This is gonna be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. <clears throat> Now just keep in mind Pisces, um, I'm not in my regular studio, so I'm using different equipment. Um, there's a little bit of noise in the background. That's why I have this mic closer. So hopefully um, you just hear me and not the noise. So in this reading, Pisces, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards. I'm going to pull some advice. There will be an extended reading in the link uh, in the description, excuse me, in the description below. So if you're interested in the extended reading, that will be linked in the description box. Okay, so your challenge between the 2nd and the 8th of uh, January is the Nine of Cups, okay? And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Swords upright, okay? So your biggest challenge between the 2nd to the 8th of January is the Nine of Cups. So this is a lot to do with you finding your happiness, finding your own personal satisfaction, um, not feeling like you need to rely on someone else to do that for you. Um, that may be challenging because if you're someone who's dependent on other people to make you happy, then that could be something that um, needs to change, okay? We're gonna talk more about this when we clarify in a moment. All right, now, in the recent past, you have the King of Swords, the Six of Wands, and the Star in reverse, okay? So I'm really strongly getting here in the recent past, um, for you Pisces, there was something here about a, a either a missed opportunity or a lack of healing. Um, you could have been really hurt by someone here in the past with the seven of wands, okay? You know, pushing somebody away here. Um, and really, I'm really getting strongly in the past, there was a really strong energy here of contemplation, like going within, contemplating about why something took place or why it happened. We're gonna clarify this and see more about that for you in a moment. In the present moment, you have the Ace of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. This is really beautiful energy in the present moment. <clears throat> I feel in the present moment for you, Pisces, there's a brand new beginning that's taking place, okay? Something that's passionate, it's beautiful, it's going to lead to something great here, and it could, it could possibly lead, you know, if this is a relationship or love, it looks like it's going to lead to a lot of happiness for you. Um, with the Wheel of Fortune here, there's definitely an opportunity for happiness, and again, happiness is different for everyone, right? Some people think, you know, being in a relationship is happy, um, some people think, being free is happy. So depending on what, um, what you classify as, you know, um, whatever you classify as like free, um, or new in your life is going to lead to a lot of happiness for you. Okay. And we're going to talk more about that for you in a moment. Near future, you have the hermit, the seven of cups and the judgment. Okay. There's some sort of confusion here in the near future. Either there's a bunch of confusion or you need to choose. There could be options as well. We're going to find out when we clarify. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the Ace of Swords. So something is going to be clear to you, okay? By the end of this week, um, something's going to be clear. Something's going to make more sense, okay? If it's not clear now, it will eventually make sense, okay? So let's do some clarification. Let's see what's going on for you. Let's clarify your challenge. You have the Knight of Cups, the Hermit, and you have the Five of Wands, okay? Um, your biggest challenge has a lot to do with someone being on and off with you or you've been on and off with someone. For some of you, this is pertaining to yourself, okay? What do I mean by that? I mean, if you haven't been consistent with yourself, 
That means nur nurturing yourself, nourishing yourself, loving yourself, giving yourself that time that you need. Um, that could also be what's creating some sort of conflict because there is some sort of conflict and it could be a conflict, you know, connected to the fact that you're not happy or you're not satisfied with something. So your biggest challenge is to go within with the hermit here to go within and to really think about why this conflict is happening why there's something here about resistance it's like something keeps holding you back or you don't feel like you can really accomplish something here there's something here that's creating some sort of resistance um conflict arguments um and it's because something isn't consistent this this is either you with yourself or this is you with someone else and your biggest challenge is to get back to this place of happiness and satisfaction Okay. Um, so that's your challenge. Let's talk about, let's talk about the past. Let's clarify the star. You have the nine of wands, the empress and the page of cups. So I feel like in the recent past, um, someone here, I feel again, I feel like this is you. I don't know why I keep getting you, you, you. Now, even if you are in a relationship or, you know, you're dealing with someone else, this is a direct message to you. This reading more or less is for you. I feel like you were really um, in this place, even though something here seemed impossible in the past, okay, the star in reverse, there's still this strong energy um, with the nine of wands that you didn't want to give up on this. And I feel like it was a goal or was something that you were creating that you wanted to do. Um, and again, page of cups, I feel is you. I don't feel like this is someone you're dealing with. I feel like this is you. And... <clears throat> I think a lot of you don't realize your potential, okay? Or you didn't realize your full potential here in the past. Um, I do feel there was resistance. Again, I'm getting a strong energy here of resistance, holding back, um, pushing people back, pushing people or situations away from you. So there was some sort of disappointment here in the past. You have the moon, the fool, and the queen of cups. If this is about love, this has a lot to do with someone who I'm really strongly getting somebody here kept something from you okay or you kept something from someone and that's what maybe um stopped this new beginning from happening there was a lot of resistance here okay so i'm getting like a lack of confidence or a lack of believing in yourself or um something here was hidden from you and it led to some sort of um disappointment okay because the star is in reverse which to me signals some form of a disappointment okay so there was a lesson that you needed to learn here in the past now in the present moment there's a brand new opportunity for you there's a like a new beginning that's happening for you which i think is really beautiful especially because it's the new year now um and it's going to lead to a ton of happiness for you so let's um clarify and let's see what is this wheel of fortune about This, by the way, this energy in the present moment is beautiful. It's like rare to even see this, these cards that um, are coming out. You have the world, the six of cups and the king of wands, um, <clears throat> death in reverse. It's not a coincidence that you have the death in reverse. Something here is done in the present moment. And I don't know what that is. You're going to have to, um, you know, connect with what's, what's done, what's over. Um, something here is done. It's like it's completely closed out. I do feel like this situation that's coming to an end is a part of your past. A lot of you may be sad about this situation coming to an end, but it's actually a part of your destiny. Okay, when I clarify the Wheel of Fortune, these are the cards that came out. So, you know, if you're reminiscing, if you're sad, because that's what you're doing in the, in the near future, um, the Hermit. You know, you're kind of sad and you're kind of in this place of like, why did this end? Why did this happen? But I'm going to be honest with you, Pisces. I feel like in the present moment, something here isn't making you happy. It's not satisfying, which is connected to your challenge. Um, and it's almost like spirit wants you to have this new beginning. Spirit's like, yeah, I want Pisces. I want you to have this new beginning. But you're so afraid of having this new beginning because, you know, you don't know how it's going to be or, you know, you're afraid that it's not going to really bring you the happiness that you need um but i really feel something's closing out for you in the present moment and uh as uncomfortable as it may be it may actually lead to something better that's what it's looking like so let's talk about it um death in reverse is telling me it's not completely done okay that's what is not being seen on the surface There's a party going on behind me. So if you hear like people yelling and stuff, they're having a pool party and there's, 
there's like music going on and stuff. That's why I have my mic really close to me. Um, so don't mind that. <clears throat> So in the present moment, you have the Ace of Wands. So this new beginning has a lot to do with, um, it's not telling me what this new beginning is about. All it's telling me is that this new beginning is going to bring you a lot of happiness. There's a lot of sadness connected to something that didn't work out. But I think, again, the reason why this new beginning is happening for you, it's preparing you to let go of the burden, to let go of things that are not serving you anymore. Um, something's been really difficult in your life and it's finally coming to an end. You're like, yes, it's over. It's done. But there's still a strong energy here of you holding on to it. OK, so you need to be conscious of that because when we continue to hold on to things that are not for us because we're afraid of a new beginning, we end up missing an opportunity. And I think a lot of you want to get back to this place of being happy again. I think that's your priority. And again, this ending that's happening in your life, it's, it, it, it's part of your destiny. It's something that needs to end. Okay. So that's what I'm seeing in the present moment. There's a new beginning. Let's talk about the near future. Let's clarify the hermit. So the hermit is clarified by the three of swords, the six of pentacles and the three of pentacles. You have to be careful because in the near future, if this is about love, some of you are really quick to, um, it's almost like you're quick to work things out or you're quick to cooperate with someone here that hurts you. Um, how do I say this? It's almost like if you had a bad experience with someone, again, person, place or thing. Um, again, it doesn't have to be a specific person. It could just be like a place where you're at. Um, or an experience or whatever the case may be, there's a strong energy here of you trying to mend things so that you're not in this hermit mode. What do I mean by that? I'm going to give you um, an analogy because I tend to explain things better in analogies. So let's say, you know, you're sad that you broke up with your ex, you know, in the present moment and you believe that this is the one you believe that you're going to have a new beginning with this person. And all of a sudden this person, you know, in the near future, they come back around uh, and this person's coming back around because they want to cooperate. They want to work with you and you don't want to be alone. There's something here about you not wanting to be alone, not wanting to be in hermit mode. But what you're not going to realize or what may be kind of foggy to you especially because we're still in mercury retrograde like next week we're, we're in mercury retrograde until january 18th so there's still going to be a lot of fog and stuff going around you have tons of options okay just like i told taurus you could have a moon in taurus a rising taurus or a sun taurus depending on what your chart looks like you have tons of options okay so even though you're sad that something isn't working out and you want to work things out with someone from your past just be aware that there's other options Okay. There's other options out there. And you may say, I don't want other options. Well, before I shuffled the deck, you have the three of cups in reverse. So if this is again about an ex, I don't see you reconciling with them. I mean, you may try, but there's a reason why you broke up with them. And it could be the fact that this person wasn't giving you the satisfaction that you needed. So what are these options? You have the ten of swords the four of cups yeah and the three of wands so even though you're going to have tons of options i see you just doing your own thing i just see you doing your own thing i don't see you being interested in any of these options um but you are they are going to come to your attention i do feel in terms of what you don't see coming is the fact that this coming week you're very strong in being able to manifest and i think everybody is this week not only you but i was talking to a few other people and especially the water signs for some reason i don't know why um but there's a lot of like energy of being able to manifest what you want as long as you listen to that intuition and there you are you are the high priestess and look new love is coming in for you if that's something that you want but i think you need to release yourself hangman you need to release yourself and allow yourself to be open to new experiences and again love money whatever it's pertaining to but something here you're letting go of especially in the present moment okay um let's get some advice for you Okay, so you have the page of wands, the emperor and the empress. Look at this. Wow. So whenever I have two core cards or two um, major arcana cards uh, that are side by side, like the emperor and empress, along with the page of wands, this is signaling to me your biggest piece of advice is to find someone who matches your energy. Um, some of you have been dating someone who doesn't match your energy or doesn't really give you what you need. 
I see a new beginning happening, okay, in love or a new direction. Even, again, if this is an ex, maybe you will be moving into a new direction with them. Um, there is that possibility as well. But make sure that this person that you are choosing to have this new beginning with or you're planning on having this new beginning with is someone who matches your energy, okay? It could be even a friend. Um, that's your biggest piece of advice. Whoever you're dealing with, make sure they see your vision. Make sure they see you as someone they see themselves having that stability with and growing with ultimately because there will be talks about moving into a new direction or that is the advice here to start planning to move into a new direction so that you can live again so that you can be happy again and satisfied again okay so Pisces this is what I have for you I hope this reading helped thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one bye